Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a bit different. Um, today is August 1st and it's currently 8.16 in the morning. And I'm about to leave to go to COVID-19 test centers here in Ottawa. So there are really two main reasons why I'm doing the COVID-19 test. Um, none of them is because I'm sick, I'm not sick. But first is because my mom and my sister works at a resident home or retirement home um, and they had an outbreak since Monday. So that's the first reason. Second reason is I'm going to a wild camping next weekend with also, uh, there's five of us, there's five friends. One of the friends work at um, a retirement home as well and she or her work wants to make sure that her bubble is safe for her to hang out with so that's why i'm also doing this um as i said it's 8 16 they open at 9 but since it's saturday i'm kind of expecting that there will be a long lineup so i'm gonna go there for 8 30 hopefully um i get in as soon as possible because i do have another appointment at 10 30 for my underarm electrolysis and i have to put the um, numbing cream at least 30 minutes before so i'm hoping to finish before 10 o'clock so i could put on my underarm cream numbing cream and then go there also this is gonna be a very first covid19 test so i'm kind of nervous when they do the swabbing because my friend did it yesterday and she said you have no choice um and they do the swabbing on your nose my sister said they might do it for both because at her work they do it both the nose and mouth and i'm thinking the mouth would be more comfortable or i'm gonna try to take snippets of what it looks like when i'm from the lineup to the inside um i'm gonna try my best to get a videotape for when they swab me in the nose. See you in a little bit. Two thousand years later. Hi guys, so I just got home. Um, it is now 12.10 in the afternoon. So, I'm gonna show you a few clips of when I was in line. But basically, I got there at around 8.35. There was already a long lineup. Um, in addition to the lineup outside, there's also a lineup inside. And basically, I waited in line for a total of almost three hours. Or maybe two and a half, something like that. I got inside, it was already 10.05. Um, take note, I started being in line at 8.35 and I only got inside the building, still in a lineup, at 10.05. So that's when I decided to call my the derma care that I go to for my underarm electrolysis. I called them and asked if either I could delay it or postpone my appointment because I couldn't make it. And like I said earlier, I wanted to put the numbing cream at least 30 minutes before and it was already 10.05. My numbing cream is in the car. I will not make it at all. The lines still seemed a bit long and so I called them and I had no choice but to postpone it to a different Saturday. I didn't get my swab done till about 11 o'clock. So basically the process that I noticed was you wait in line for a very long time which is kind of normal because a lot of people want to do the test as well um, and especially it's a weekend um, I suggest you go on a weekday and go very very early so this one I went to is called Brewer Park COVID-19 test center they open at 9 in the morning so I suggest you go there by 8 I know it's an hour early but trust me you will get there first like you'll get inside first and get it done so you wait in line and then there's a registration there's like a lineup of computers around here so the line is over here the registrations are here so they ask for your health card um the health card that you have if you live in canada especially if you live in ontario um they ask to see the health card they ask for your name they ask for your address your phone number um they also ask for emergency contact number in case something happens to you when the swab is ongoing that's very very important as well and then they ask you why you're there and for me i just said i just want reassurance 
which is l literally why you know so i went there they asked me those questions and because i did not have any records because i haven't been to the hospitals here like i haven't been admitted to any hospitals here in canada at all since i got here um they have no records in their file yeah and then they also asked for your family doctor where the main offices for your family doctor and all those things it only took maybe five maximum ten minutes and then you move into the next section which is where you have to sit to be called you have to wait to be called for your name so you can go to the next station which is when they ask you to confirm your information again um ask you again why you're there and then they tell you an information and they gave you sheets this is the sheet of i'm not gonna show it because they're a bit um confidential but basically it has the instructions for after visit it also tells you your visit today what kind of swab they use for me they use um nasopharyngeal swab it's for the nose um, and I asked if you get to choose whether the nose or the mouth and they said no because it depends on the availability and then you can see your results in two to five days and there's a website that you can log in to see your result and they said that if you test positive they will call you but if you test negative you can just check your uh, it's called my chart online website check your result they told me that there they printed the sheets there um, that only took maybe five minutes and then I went to the next section supposedly to wait but since there was nobody waiting I went directly to like a little kind of cubicle that's closed and pretty far from the next cubicle um, that's where my swab was done so I actually asked the nurse if I could record it and they said no so I said that's fine I understand my imagination of the swab was that it was gonna be either as thick as a q-tip or a bit thinner but it was actually way way thinner and it's about i want to say twice as long as the q-tips about uh, this much i think went inside my nose <laughs> and it goes and i think it went up to your nostrils not nostrils what i'm talking about it went to your sinuses and then you count for 10 seconds and then they kind of rotate a little bit and do the swabbing for 10 seconds obviously it was uncomfortable because it's something you're not used to it's something you don't do every single day it's a very very thin q-tip kind of like material and it goes all the way up there 10 seconds and then you're done and that's it yeah that's it for my story time about how it is to get covid19 test done here in ottawa ontario canada it might be different in other places within Canada or within Ontario I'm not sure and also just want to let you know it is free it is free for us it's covered by OHIP OHIP is the Ontario Health Insurance Plan and that's all I have to say say hi to the vlog hi to the vlog <laughs> I'm also trying out this new camera. I got the... Let me show you. I just got this on Thursday, I believe. It's the Sony ZV-1. Um, it's their new vlogging camera. Originally, I wanted to get the Canon G7X Mark II or Mark III. And then my boyfriend told me about this. And he's a big fan of Sony. For me, I don't really care as long as it's like a good quality camera. So then I looked at the reviews and I said I'll try it out. So we actually waited for maybe a month or over a month for it to be available at the store, at our local store. Because that local store is the store that accepts trade-in. And we had a mirrorless camera before, which is the Sony A6000 that we wanted to trade in. Because it's been with us for a few years now. We barely use it now and because this is a vlogging camera and I've been trying to vlog for my channel I think this is going to be more useful than a mirrorless camera So we traded that in um, and we got this That's why we had to wait for this to be in stock in the store And it took a long time because I guess a lot of people were buying it 
and like it was on pre-order for a while and in the box it includes rechargeable battery pack micro usb cable and a windscreen anyway yes that's it thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on my next video bye